What's happening guys? Welcome back to another Morris Method, another adventure, another YouTube video coming to you guys from Bowen Mountain, New South Wales. I am out here again with another adventurer. His name is Big Bad Bobby D. Rob. Oh, all right. Um, we are hopefully going to get out about a 30 to 30, bit over 30 kilometer trek today. 10 kilometers of it's going to be on a fire trail. About 13 kilometers, maybe more, um, is going to be off track along the Gross River. If you've ever done that, uh, you'll know how hard and how slow going it is. And then we'll climb out at Avoca Vale, which is the Gross, gross Head South and then make our way back to the cars, totaling over 30 kilometers. So anyway, tune in guys. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe on this video. Hoping you enjoy it. Let me know down in the comments if you do. Otherwise, let's go. There must be something about starting a trail run. And as soon as I'm about to kick off, <laughs> and it's toilet time. So we are making our way down into the Gross Valley. So pretty, bit of a hairy track, not too bad. It's just a bit, uh, a bit slippery underfoot. You can check it out now. Otherwise, once we get down to the bottom, made our way to the river, and we follow the river for about 10 or 13 kilometers, I believe. Way. down at the river as we speak and then it's a we're gonna cross over and hopefully we can find a little bit of a path <laughs> uh, a path yes good one Nathan so that whole bit yeah took us about yeah and we did like 2k yeah 1500 meters yeah Yeah, those trees are pretty good. Yeah. And glad that, that they're here. Hey, yeah. I'm glad that they're here. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. 
<laughs> All right, so still on our way. Had to do a bit of a creek crossing. Um, so, and we stopped, filled up some water from the river itself. Cold brew that is no longer cold. <laughs> uh, can't make these things too uncomfortable. Officially, what's the time frame? Three hours, 36. So, uh, average pace, 4.6 kilometers per hour. And then the first, I think the first 10 kilometers, we were, yeah, 10 k's an hour. So it's definitely slowed up. Plenty of debris from the recent floods. So we have another few hours, I'd say at least, of this sort of terrain. So we are just at a bend on the river that um, typically will actually head up to Falcon Bridge Point. So if you know Falcon Bridge and you've been to the Falcon Bridge Lookout, um, we are virtually underneath that track, um, or at least coming up to it anyway. So then we go past that track, we stay along the river and make our way down the Gross River still towards Yarramundi. Um, and then our exit point is Hopefully add a Boca Vale, one of the tracks to pull ourselves out and up. And about eight to 10 kilometers of road to get ourselves home. <sighs> All right, so of course, um, typical Nathan fashion. I think I'm going to be a little bit later than curfewed end of time we shall see it's a race against the clock to get maybe back somewhere relatively okay by by dark I'll let you guys know um, what I am fueling with today which is just some body fat today actually Rob not that he has any body fat on him um, but he's doing the same thing so we are fat fueled we have been completely and utterly fast this entire time. Uh, still shocks me. Still freaks me out that I, I couldn't go without breakfast, without feeling hungry, without having energy lapses and all that sort of stuff. It's amazing when you tap into body fat as your fuel source. Brain is firing, nice flat line sort of energy. All right, so it's not huge. You're not spiking. You're not buzzing like you've got a, you know, shit ton of sugar in you. You're just flatlining. It's just constant energy. Constant energy all day long. And it's just cruising along. So, another fasted Friday done. So, I'll leave you guys there. Thanks for tuning in to another adventure. Mate Rob, thank you for coming along. Testing your... <laughs> your trust in me, that's for sure. Oh dear. Any clients watching, you know, the Nathan kilometers always tend to just be slightly more than one kilometer at a ton. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to put a comment down below if you did watch. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time. Bye. All right, so before you do go, one last little thing. We got to the exit point from the river 
at about 5.10, 10 minutes past five, which you should all know if you live in Sydney, it was dark by then. So we did actually have to do a water crossing, which was about hip height, um, which you guys will see in here next. Um, so, but the footage basically kind of broke down after that. We did manage to get to the top. If you talk to Rob as well, basically to get out of the river, to get out of the Gross River, we were doing some rock scrambling in the dark. Um, so it made for a really, really interesting end. Unfortunately, we didn't get any footage. We wouldn't have seen anything anyway, because it was dark. But this is the last little piece that we had. Once we got to the top, we just then had an easy eight kilometer trek back up to Bowen Mountain to find the cars. Anyway, what a journey. Four o'clock, four o'clock, and I reckon we've got probably just over an hour left, hopefully, along the river. So we'll probably be climbing in the dark, I presume. Water again. Always with the water. 